Is your wife or mom or sister or grandma or girlfriend impossible to shop for? I'm going to solve your problem with gift ideas she will love. Hey Credos, if you're baffled trying to buy a gift for a woman who has everything or wants nothing, put an amen in the comments and we're gonna solve your problems right now. I've got four easy steps for you, but first of all, the big tip. Experiences instead of things. Keep that in mind as I go through my top four tips. Also check out the link in the description to midlifecredo.com where I'll give you some very specific ideas for other gifts that you can wrap and put right under your tree. So there is a beloved woman in your life and you want to give her something special for Christmas, but she's not helping you very much. Idea number one, what are her likes and interests? Does she like music? Is there a particular playlist or set of music you can get for her? Does she love chocolate? Every woman loves chocolate. Is there some fancy special kind of chocolate that fits with her eating plan that you can get her that she can have for a treat? Does she love to exercise? Is there a membership or piece of equipment or something to wear that will help motivate her and that she'll like? Does she collect anything? Now it's true that sometimes when people collect things, everyone gets them the collectible. I have a daughter who collects llamas and she probably has more llamas than she knows what to do with. And she might get more this Christmas. We will see. But still, that at least shows that you have put some effort in and gotten something personal and meaningful. Now with regard to idea number one, are there experiences that could go along with her likes and interests? There probably are. Could you get her tickets to a museum that's featuring an artist she really loves? Could you get her tickets to a concert for a band she loves or a musician she loves? Think about what kind of experiences you can attach to those things that you already know she loves. Idea number two, what are some past or future events that you could use to give you ideas for a gift? Has she recently graduated from college or will she graduate soon? What kind of a gift could go along with a graduation? Is she about to travel somewhere? Could you give her some travel equipment, some luggage, a travel pillow, something that will help her on the journey depending on where she's going, something that applies to the area. So with regard to experiences, what if you researched a place she's about to travel found a restaurant that you know she'll like in that area and you got her a gift card for a meal there. Please express some comment appreciation for these divine Christmas earrings. Cannot beat those. Idea number three, what are her needs? Now maybe this is boring, but I know that especially when I was in college, getting something I really needed was wonderful because it relieved me of the necessity to pay for it myself. So maybe not toilet paper or underwear, but there's probably something she actually needs and could use that still could be a little bit fun. Does she need new tires for her car? Does she need slippers? Now, before you say that's a cliche gift, I have worked at home since 1987 and I practically live in slippers. Sometimes I wear slippers completely inappropriate places like to the movies. Every Christmas I get at least one pair of slippers and I think my record was five pairs of slippers. And I always wear them out by the next year because I love slippers, especially warm, cozy slippers. So think about what she actually uses and needs and if it's something that applies, get her that. What kind of experience could go along with something she needs? What if she's been talking about a skill she really wants to learn that would either be fun or interesting or help her career? Could you get her an online course that could teach her those skills? Number four, what are her circumstances? For example, if she's a new mom, what kind of things might she need? Maybe don't get her diapers or formula, but something that a new mom could use that maybe is personal to her. Give the baby the diapers. Many years ago when my mother suffered from severe dementia due to TIAAs, it was very difficult to buy her a gift. The truth is she wouldn't know if I got her a gift or not, but I love her and I couldn't see Christmas or Mother's Day or her birthday going by without honoring her in some way. How many bathrobes can a person who doesn't get around at all really use every year? So I struggled with what to get her. I lived in Florida and she lived in Utah for most of that time. One year, kind of in desperation, I sent her flowers. Now, also a cliche gift, but it was the best gift I gave her during those years. And here's why. By that point in her decline, my mother didn't remember much except close family members. 
Sometimes she didn't remember our names, but she remembered that we were familiar. When the flowers arrived, my father put them on the dining table. Every single time my mother walked by the table or came down the stairs, she saw the flowers and she said, oh, who sent me the flowers? And because she'd forgotten that they were there 10 minutes before. So those flowers very literally brought her joy over and over and over again every day. And from that time on until she died, I got her flowers for every birthday, Mother's Day, Christmas, because I never found anything that made her so happy so often. So what kind of experience could go along with the idea number four of someone's circumstance? Well, back to the new mother. Could you offer to babysit for the new mother and send her out anywhere that she would love to go? Maybe to a movie, maybe out to eat, maybe to get her nails done, or maybe just to the library to sit in quiet and read whatever book she chooses? Think about the person you care about and what will really serve them the most. Will you take a second to write the best gift you ever got in the comments? Make sure to check out the link in the description to Midlife Credo for some very specific and unusual ideas of gifts for women in your life. Those are my ideas. Thanks for watching. Next week, some help with the most common New Year's resolution ever. See you all next week and Merry Christmas.